Okay, you can see here Susie's hand pumping the hand pump, and you can see the water returning on the bypass line, which is what I wanted to do since the bypass line's open. So now I'm going to close the bypass line up here, and then the water will go into the boiler. You can see it's she's still pumping and it's quit coming out the return line into the tender. And then, uh, so now the water's going into the tender. Okay, I've got the engine running on air now. And you can see I moved up the gears with the open gear and cable, cable oil. The engine's running very smoothly. Uh, quite pleased with the way it sounds and looks. Middle truck and rear truck. A little bit of a more of an open view, so everything's running. So what I'm trying to do at this point is is get the uh, axle pump running. So I'm going to open it up, make sure that I get water coming back out the bypass. Water coming out of the bypass, so the pump is is working. So there it is, three truck Shea running on air, and I'm pumping water into the boiler. So I'm going to close the bypass valve and then put any water in the boiler other than the little hand pump test. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to stop for now and then. Check see how much water I'm adding into the board. Okay, going to do just a little bit of a brake test. Once again, it's still on air. I just want you to see how the cylinder operates the double acting. You can hear the engine mode change. So anyway, that's brakes do work. It's a little bit of a drag. The spring may not be quite tight enough. But anyway. That's the brake operation. I have to open the valve up on the manifold. The red valve, red handle valve, and that feeds the brake valve, which is right here, and then you just move that forward and turn it off the brakes. Wanna see the whistle valve? There it is down in there. Okay, and prep for <coughs> uh, building boiler pressure. Got the blower in the stack with the little little holes open, so I don't pull too much of a draft, but some draft, and it's on. I go go back here to the propane tank. I've got the pressure regulator. A little hard to see, but it's set to about seven psi. And then I. Stuck a map torch down in the firebox, which is even harder to see. That anyway, there's a uh, nice uh, blue flame in the uh, on the burners, and I open the uh, needle valve probably uh, two turns or so. So anyway, I got a good fire, and right now the dampers are all the way open. Uh, I go back and forth where to adjust those, but they're open. So now I'm going to go to the high fire valve and open it up, and you can hear the you can hear the fire uh, going right now.
I'm getting pretty, pretty near 80 PSI now on the gauge. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm getting ready to test the new injector that I put on the engine and uh, start by opening the injector water valve right here on the side. And you can see with the injector now I've got water coming to the overflow. Well, anyway, I'm going to open the steam valve and see what I get here. Obviously it isn't picking up, so that's not a good sign. We'll cut the water back a little bit and see if that doesn't make it pick up. picked up. So like every injector you gotta piddle with them a little bit. Anyway, you see in the water glass there, it, it adds water fast. So I'm gonna shut the steam valve right there. Let some cold water go through the injector. So it does work even though typically it's a bit fidgety. So you turn the water off and get ready here to open the throttle valve and shut off the blower first here. Close that off, close the cylinder drain pots here. Okay, we'll go back and open the throttle valve. There she is, running on steam very well. A big chocolate mess out of everything, but too much water in the boiler. Out of the whistle. 
sounds pretty good. As you heard a little bit ago, I was popping off. I closed the high fire valve down a little bit. Especially before I shut it down, I like to put a good bit of Shut the high fire completely off now. Anyway, it, uh, sit there and run very smoothly. See it there? Yes. Uh, it's barely turning over. Sounds neat that way. See all the mechanisms a little better. Well, anyway, that's my free truck Shea running on steam.